In this video, we're going to be doing some light painting with a slight twist. We're going to be adding in a few reflections. A light painting is created in the dark by shining a light source, perhaps a torch, LED or screen, through the frame while the camera shutter is locked open. In exposure terms, light is accumulative, so dragging a light source through the frame is like taking chalk to a blackboard. The technique here is the same whether you're outside at night or at home with the lights off, so we'll start off small here with an indoor setup and go through the kit and settings you need. I've got a miniature statue of Liberty with a tray of water to create some interesting reflections and with a little light painting I can build the New York skyline. To begin we set the camera up on a tripod. DSLRs max out at 30 seconds which when you're fumbling around with torches in the dark doesn't seem very long. So for more time we can set bulb mode. This way the shutter stays open for as long as the shutter button is engaged. As for aperture and ISO, it's a bit of a guessing game depending on the strength of your light sources and whether there's any ambient light in the scene. Start off with ISO 100 and f5.6 and go from there. When in bulb mode we need a means of opening and closing the shutter. A cable or remote release will work, but the 750D here has Wi-Fi so I can use my phone. All I need to do is pair the camera and phone using the 750D's inbuilt Wi-Fi hotspot and then log into the hotspot and launch Canon's Camera Connect app. Now I can control my camera with my phone. With bulb mode set, I simply press once to open the shutter and then again to close it. We don't want our lens hunting in the dark, so focus on a spot beforehand and then switch to manual focus to lock it. With everything set up, we can start light painting. You can use any light emitting source you like for this, even an iPad screen. I've made a set of images of simple outlines for the Manhattan skyline, and by scrolling through the images, I can build the city, one building at a time. So once the lights are off, I trigger the shutter and begin painting by moving the tablet across the water's edge. I flash a few dots of light in the background to create stars in my Manhattan sky. Then finally, I use a torch to illuminate the edges of the statue. So that's our miniature city scene. Now let's try something on a slightly larger scale. We headed out to a nearby lake to capture some bigger reflections on the water. This time we used a few LED torches and to add colour we shone them through different coloured cups. We take the torch to a tripod leg and then started swinging. Next we tried combining two torches and it goes without saying take care when shooting around deep water. This needn't be done in the pitch black. I can use the weak light from my phone screen to guide me around as I paint. I just need to make sure that I hide the screen from the lens, otherwise it'll appear as a highlight just like my other torches. Light painting with a torch is rather like trying to draw a freehand picture with a mouse. The results can be rather wobbly and childlike, but that's part of the charm. And with reflections we only need to paint half an object. The symmetry does the rest. If you like, you can also try swinging the torches around behind a person while they stay perfectly still for a sinister silhouetted figure like this. So there we have it, that's a few things to think about when painting with light. So why not give it a go yourself and head out into the night?